These are my red lizard catfish L010A. Um, it's a rhino loricaria species. So it's a rhine loricaria, which means rhine meaning river, loricaria meaning uh, the type of fish. So uh, they don't actually know where these guys are originally from. They believe they are a man made hybrid, but I believe they're a wild type of fish that does originate from the Amazon because I have three wild caught ones. This one here is one of them. Um, there's two more smaller ones that are hiding in the back at this point. Oh, there's one right there. This dark one right here that you see is also a wild caught one. Um, there is a male that is getting ready to spawn. This guy, oh, he left the cave. He was in this cave right here. They use these pipes. So, uh, about 1.6 uh, millimeters or centimeters or 16 millimeters is the diameter of the pipe that they like to spawn in. I do give them a variety of other caves as well uh, from Amazon and uh, uh, eBay. And, uh, but they seem to prefer these uh, thinner pipes, 1.6 millimeters in uh, uh, centimeters in diameter or 16 millimeters. And uh, yeah, so uh, that's their adult size. They're about, I would say four, four and a half inches. Uh, adult size, this is a female. Uh, this one here is a male, if I can focus on him. He does get odontids when he's ready to spawn. Um, you can kind of see them on him. There are other males in this tank that do have better odontids, but they're in the back. There's 13 of them in total in here right now. Um, a large group actually, and they're very peaceful. This is a 37, 39 gallon tall, tall aquarium. Um, so yeah. Uh, that's basically their care and maintenance. They like soft, um, low TDS water. This is our tap water here in Toronto, and it's at about 140 TDS at the temperature that it's at, um, which is at about 27.5 to 28 degrees Celsius, or about 83 degrees Fahrenheit right now, or 82 degrees Fahrenheit um, is the measurements. So. Uh, there's other fish that are in there. There's a L340 Mega Clown Plecos, a group of 12 in here. Um, they are usually in the caves. It's really not one of the easiest fish to see. They're wild caught, but they are gorgeous. They do come out. Um, oh, this is another male here. He's plump. Um, there he is. That's a male as well. Oh no, that's a female. Right there is a female. You can tell them apart pretty easily. Um, yeah, so that's the update I have for you guys today. Um, I'm sorry I haven't been updating recently. I did have a lot of technical difficulties, so that's why I haven't been updating. But uh, I will try and update as more frequently now in the winter. Uh, I, I, I am due for a fish room tour, so please, um, if you haven't hit the notification icon, please hit the notification icon. And please like this video and uh, subscribe to this channel for further updates and hit the notification icon so that you are updated when I do update new videos. As always, thank you for your support. I love you all. Um, I do have new Elf 46s that I picked up. So I will make a video of that and I am picking up some more. So I do have a lot of Elf 46s right now. Uh, there is one in here but I have like quite a bit of them in my collection right now. So uh, that's a video for another time. Uh, these are the CW049 diamond uh, corridors. Uh, yeah, so as always, thank you for your support. I love you all. Uh, I will see you soon uh, in another update. Thank you for your support and uh, God bless. Cheers. Oh, there's another L340 outside. That's a mega clown pleco. That's an adult actually. I have two large adults in here that's about four inches and about 10 well 10 um, juveniles that are just uh, about a year old more or less and uh, yeah so I'm expecting them to spawn in the next couple of years uh, we're not in no rush it's a wild caught group uh, yeah and as always thank you again and uh, God bless some fish porn for you guys
still rare, I got to take a video of this little guy.